and welcome back to English Lessons with Stephanie. This is Grammar Lesson 6, Prefixes and Suffixes, also known as Word Beginnings and Endings. So let's begin by asking ourselves, what are prefixes and suffixes? So like the title of this lesson explains, prefixes are common word beginnings and suffixes are common word endings. So pre means before. Prefix is something you put before a word. Preview is what you see before you see the main attraction. Predict is to say something will happen before it happens. Prepare is to do work for something before the main event. Preschool is school that you go to before regular school when you're really little. And then to look at the suffixes, shun is an ending that shows that something is an action or a process. It's the noun form. So many of these words, not all of them, show actions and processes. So let's look at this list here of some common words and see if you can find the prefixes and suffixes in each word. So pause the video, take a minute, and just look at these words to see what you can find. And when you're finished, unpause the video to see what they are. All right, so in our first column, we have the prefixes overweight, antisocial, misspell, unhappy, multipurpose, cooperate, remind. So maybe you weren't aware that these are common prefixes, but they are. Uh, and then finally in the next, and then in the next column, we have some suffixes, forgettable, finally, driver, perfectionist, optimism, funniest, grateful. These are all common suffixes. So prefixes and suffixes can help us understand new words or words that we already know. So over is a prefix that means over or too much or past something. So the word overweight means weighing too much, too heavy. Anti means against. So antisocial means you are against socializing. Maybe you would rather be alone. Miss is a common prefix that means wrongly. So if you misspell something, you have spelled it wrongly, incorrectly. Un means not, and we have several prefixes that mean not. So unhappy means not happy. And multi means many. So multipurpose is something that has many purposes. Co means together. So cooperate means to operate together, to function together, to work together. Uh, re is again. So retell is to tell something again. So suffixes also have meaning. And when you look at a suffix, it can help you to know, to understand the part of speech, which is something we talked about in grammar lesson number one. A-B-L-E or I-B-L-E, these are pronounced ible or ubble, is you're able to do something. So if something is forgettable, then you're able to forget it. Lee, the ending shows us that something is an adverb. So if you do something sadly, you do it in a sad way. The ending ER or OR means someone doing the action described. So a driver is the person who's driving or the one who's driving. The suffix less means without. So effortless means without effort. The suffix EN means can mean made of. It can also mean other things, but golden would mean made of gold. The suffix EST shows us that this is an adjective that means the most. So funniest is most funny. And then the suffix F-U-L means full of. So the word grateful means full of gratitude. There are lots of other common prefixes. And here is a list of in for inside, like interior, X for outside, like exterior. Um, X can also mean former or previous, like ex-husband or ex-boyfriend. Under can mean not enough. So underweight is the opposite of overweight. So underweight means something doesn't weigh enough. Uni or mono means one. So unicycle is a one-wheeled vehicle. And bi would mean two. So bicycle is a two-wheeled vehicle. And then eco can mean related to the environment, like eco-friendly, friendly to the environment. This is just a small list. And here are some other common suffixes. So like we said, shun 
T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N, is an action. So graduation is the action of graduating. Mint is also an action. Agreement, the action of agreeing. Ness and iti, the next two are states. So happiness, the state of being happy. Ability, the state of being able. Iv, characteristic of. So that means related to or strongly showing or suggestive of something. So if you are talkative, that means you are one who talks a lot. Or if you have a Y on the end of a word, that is another way of showing an adjective related to the noun. So moody, characteristic of mood, or someone who has lots of strong moods. And then IFY shows us that something is usually a verb. So for example, liquefy, liquid is, you know, like water. And if we put IFY on the end, it means to make into a liquid. So this, these can really help us when we're trying to remember the different parts of speech so that we can write our sentences and speak correctly. So let's practice. Let's look at these words and see if you can guess what these words mean. So pause the video, read through these one, two, three, four, five, six sentences, paying attention to the bold words, and see if you can guess what these words mean. And then when you're finished reading these six sentences, unpause the video and we'll discuss them. Okay, so in our first sentence, he asked his boss for a raise because he feels underpaid and mistreated. So we can look at the word underpaid. We remember that under means under or not enough. So if you feel underpaid, you feel like you're not being paid enough. And mistreated, well, we remember that miss means wrongly or badly. So if you feel mistreated, that means you think people are treating you badly. In the second sentence, it says, you'll have to write this essay again because it is unreadable. So unreadable is a word that has a prefix and a suffix. And you can, and you might remember un means not, and the suffix able means able to do something. So if something is unreadable, that means you cannot read it. You're not able to read it. In the third sentence, it says, my coworker did this project wrong. We must have miscommunicated. So co is the prefix that means together. So coworker is someone you work with. Oh, and actually, this has an ER suffix also. So you have to remember that ER is someone who does something. So a worker is someone who works. So a coworker is someone who works together with you. Then we have miscommunicated. Um, so again, miss means badly or did something wrong. And communicate is to, you know, So miscommunicated means you communicated badly or wrongly. You said something wrong. The anti-government protests continued overnight. So remember the prefix anti means against. So anti-government means you are against the government. And we see our vocabulary word from class three protest. And then overnight. So over means too much or past something. So overnight means something continues through or into the night. The fifth sentence says, the ice cream is too soft to eat. We'll put it in the freezer to solidify it. So remember the suffix ify shows that something is a verb, turning something into a verb form. So if you solidify something, that means you're turning it into a solid. That means the ice cream was too soft. It melted into a liquid. So we put it in the freezer to make it solid again. And the last sentence says, the company has gotten too large. It needs to unify some of its departments. So unify, yeah, unify is a word that's made of a prefix and a suffix. So uni, remember, means to make... So remember, uni means one. And if I, just like we said... And if I, and IFY, we just said, is to make something a verb. So unify means to make one. 
So if you have many departments, too many departments, you can take all of them and unify them. That means to make all of them into one. So you can see here are some examples of how knowing prefixes and suffixes can help you to read more easily and understand some words that might look really long and confusing. Let's try another exercise. Can you make these words? Number one, I'm not able to manage this company. This company is. So here you want to try and take the phrase, am not able to manage, and change this into one word, like the words we just saw. So pause the video, read through these questions, and try to make words out of these bold phrases, and then unpause the video and we can talk about the answers. So number one, I'm not able to manage this company. This company is unmanageable. So we start with the verb, which is manage, and we make un, the prefix, to not do something, and then put the ubble suffix at the end to make unmanageable. Uh, number two, I cannot believe his story. His story is unbelievable. So similar to number one, we have the verb believe in the middle. We put un in the beginning and ubble at the end. Number three, my wife and I are in the process of separating. We're starting a separation. So shun shows us the action or the process of doing something, and the verb is separate. So we make it into separation. Number four, oh, I spoke wrongly. Let me start again because I misspoke. So we said wrongly, we would use the prefix mix. So misspoke is to say something wrongly. Number five, I'm cold. I am not dressed in enough clothing. I am underdressed. So remember not enough, we would use the prefix under. So if you are not dressed in enough clothes, you're not wearing warm enough clothing, you're gonna be underdressed. Number six, she paid because of her generous state. I admire her generosity. So we take the adjective generous and we make it into generosity, the noun. And you can see we leave out the U to change it into the noun form. So sometimes the, the root, that means the main word like generous, would change spelling slightly. And you will see that happen too, but we can still recognize that the root is generous. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Make sure you get some extra practice by downloading the grammar worksheet from the website where you'll have a chance to look at more of these prefixes and suffixes and practice understanding the words and making some of the words yourself. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you next time.